What are coterminal angles? Coterminal angles are angles that land on the same position, but they have different angles. For example, here we have an angle of 30 degrees. Now, let's say if we travel around a circle, this is 90. Let me start over. This is 90, 180, 270, 360. This is also 390 degrees. So 30 degrees and 390 are called terminal angles because they point to the same terminal ray or terminal side. So anytime an angle differs by 360, there will always be coterminal angles. Notice that if you add 30 with 360, this will give you the coterminal angle 390. Now here's another example. Let's say if we have the angle of 150. We can also travel in the other direction and land in the same position. And this will be equal to negative 210. So 150 and negative 210 are coterminal angles. The angles are different, but they end up on the same position. So if you subtract 150 by 360, this will give you negative 210. So anytime you need to find a coterminal angle, all you need to do is add or subtract by 360. Now, if your angle is in radians, you can add or subtract by 2 pi. Now let's work on some examples. Find a positive coterminal angle that is between 0 and 360 degrees. So let's say if the angle you're given is 430 degrees. So this is not between 0 and 360. Because this is greater than 360, to find the coterminal angle, all you need to do is subtract 430 by 360. And this will give you 70. So 70 is a coterminal angle of 430. So here is 70 degrees. It's right there. 430 is going to be, this is 90, 180, 270, 360, 430. So as you can see, they end up in the same location. Let's try another example. Find a coterminal angle between 0 and 360 if the angle is negative 150. Now, negative 150 is lower than this range. So therefore, instead of subtracting by 360, we want to add 360 to negative 150. And this will give us positive 210. So notice that 210 is within the range. So go ahead and find coterminal angles that's in this range given these two values 800 and also negative 500 so because 800 is above 360 we need to subtract by 360 800 minus 360 that is 440 now 440 is still too high so you need to subtract it by 360 another time and then this will give you 80 which is between 0 and 360. So 80 is the coterminal angle that we want. 440 is another coterminal angle, but it's not in the range. Negative 500 is not in the range. So because negative 500 is less than 0, we want to add 360. Negative 500 plus 360, that's negative 140, which is still not in the range. Even though negative 140 and negative 500 are coterminal angles, they differ by 360. We need to add 360 again. So this will give us positive 220 degrees. So this is the coterminal angle that we're looking for. Now, find a coterminal angle that's between 0 and 2 pi. And let's say the angle that you're given is 13 pi over 6. Now, 13 pi over 6 is more than 2 pi because 12 pi over 6 is equal to 2 pi. So what we need to do is subtract this number by 2 pi. 
and 2 pi, as we mentioned before, is the same as 12 pi over 6. To subtract it, we have to get common denominators. 13 minus 12 is 1. So this is equal to pi over 6, which we know it's 30 degrees. 2 pi is 360. Now what about this one? Let's say that the angle is negative 11 pi over 4. So because it's negative, this time we got to add 2 pi. So instead of adding 2 pi, you want to multiply this by 4 over 4. And this is going to turn into 8 pi over 4. Negative 11 plus 8 is negative 3. Now, negative 3 pi over 4 is still not in this range. So we got to add 8 pi over 4 again. Negative 3 plus 8 is 5. So this will give us 5 pi over 4. And that's positive, and it's in the range. So now you know how to find a coterminal angle. If it's too high, subtract by 360 to bring it between 0 and 360. Or you can subtract by 2 pi. If it's too low, add 360 if it's in degrees, or add 2 pi if it's in radians.